Hey, hey, what's up, y'all? Hey. I don't think I ever really paid attention to the offseason in the NFL because, man, this free, if, if, if this got to be one of the, I don't even know the words to describe it, but one of the wildest free agencies ever, man. It's like, man, it's been some crazy move. Like, the skins is killing it. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. But I specifically wanted to talk about the Chicago Bears, man. You know what I'm saying? I know I'm a Commanders fan and everything, but I mean, I'm also an NFL fan. So, what's up with Justin Fields, man? Like, I, I, I don't want to make it a racial thing, but... You know, I I gotta I gotta make it a racial thing because I don't have to, but I am. Because like, what other quarterbacks get treated like that, man? Like honestly, honestly, when you look at the Chicago Bears, Justin Fields has only played three seasons. Justin Justin Fields have had games. Where he's have played phenomenal football. He has had content multiple games and multiple seasons where he showed that he could be one of the best players, period. No matter what position in the NFL, man. Last season and the season before, for me, this is how I view his last two seasons. Going to the season with a lot of, okay, two years ago. A lot of expectation, start off slow as shit, Chicago not winning games, he get hurt, miss a couple of games or whatever, come back, he starts balling out. Now, he balled out so much that now you giving, you know, Chicago fans hope. 24, uh, 2023 come. You go to the preseason. I think the first time he threw the ball in the preseason 2023, it was a touchdown to DJ Moore. And they had a couple of those touchdown screen passes. And D they just looked like they was about to be phenomenal. Well, they started off slow. You know, uh, up until they played the commanders, he looked phenomenal against us. And then, you know, he ended up getting hurt. And then when he came back, once again, he was showing that he could be a phenomenal player. Now, you let him go and Pittsburgh, oh my goodness, Tom, uh, <laughs> Tomlin, Coach Tomlin, man, Coach T, man. Dog, you got Russell Wilson for one point something million and you got Justin Fields for a six round draft pick. That could potentially be a fourth round draft pick if he played over fifty one percent of the snaps. That that's amazing, man. <laughs> that, that, that's amazing, bro. And I'm just saying for 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 Chicago fans, right? To expect a rookie quarterback to come in. And do more than what Justin Fields can do. That, that's a high ass expectation, bro. Like if I was Chicago, I'm like, man, I got the first round pick. I got, I mean, I got the first pick overall. I got the ninth pick overall. They just got Keenan Allen, bro. They could have used that first pick on Marvin Harrison and potentially use that ninth pick on Brock Bowers. Chicago could have started the season with DJ Moore, Keenan Allen, Marvin Harrison, Brock Bowers, and you got Justin Fields throwing the ball. And they got DeAndre Swift and still got Roshan Johnson. Excuse me. And Brock, if they had Brock Bowers, he wouldn't have to be great immediately because they got Cole Komet. Or they could have used the first pick on a lineman, the best lineman in the draft. And then you could have used that ninth pick if Brock Bowers is still there. Or if you want to strengthen the line some more. Or whatever is the best receiver available. Like they had, they didn't have to use a pick on a quarter. They don't have to use a pick on a quarterback if they would have kept Justin Fields. Like Justin Fields is phenomenal. So, you know. They they just better hope that Caleb Williams or whoever they decide to draft 
is going to come through. He has to perform it immediately, man. It ain't no, oh, we're going to wait a couple of years. We're going to give him a chance to grow and mold. Because y'all got rid of Fields, it's, it's no doing that. It's no doing it. If, if, if they rookie quarterback don't come and be phenomenal from day one and have a great season and they go to the playoffs, it'll be a failure. If he come and he has some games where he's good, other games he's struggling like shit, then the Bears, they only win like seven or eight games and they don't make the playoffs. Bruh, it's just you already had Justin Fields. They should have been strengthening that team and built slim. Like, honestly, man, honestly, man. They could have got the best tackle in a draft. They could have just focused on draft with their first two picks. That shit could have been a uh, lineman. With the first pick of lineman, second pick of lineman, now you figure you got some protection for Justin Fields. And now not only is you throwing it to DJ Moore, you throwing it to fucking uh, Keenan Allen. And you got uh, DeAndre Swift. And Cole Komet. Or like I said, you could have went hard. They could have had Marvin Harrison, Keenan Allen, DJ Moore. Bro I mean, that might be too much. I don't know. It might be too, but hey, that's kind of scurry. But whatever. People do, hey, it, it don't make sense to me. But for Pittsburgh to be able to get Russell Wilson for such a cheap price, while everybody talking shit about Russ knowing that, uh, you know, if you just watch the games, he, he played decent last year. He had games where he was phenomenal. He looked like the old Russ. Like, he's going to make Pittsburgh better. And if he don't, man, they got Justin Field. They got the best backup in the NFL, hands down. So I'm trying to see them run packages. They should be playing both of them. Even if Russell Wilson is the starter and he's playing great, hey, it's always packages you can put in for Justin Fields. Even if you want to bring them in. You know, to do a couple of RPOs or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, that's crazy, man. Like, I want to know, what, what do Chicago fans feel about that? Like, if Caleb Williams don't be phenomenal, if he's not phenomenal, like, y'all got rid of Justin Fields, bruh. I just don't understand it. Y'all didn't have to get rid of Justin Fields at all. And then for a six-round draft, it's Justin Fields, man. <laughs> For a six-round pick, you got nothing for one of the best players in the NFL. That shit makes no sense to me, but all right, y'all. It ain't my team. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, they do got the first pick and a ninth pick, and they did get Keenan Allen, but they don't have no quarterback right now. You know? <laughs> okay.